Okay, guys, today we have a special pet with me. And today we have a caterpillar. We saw it over there and we give it some food. He's eating the orange right now. So, so, my, um, so, um, we, we tried to give him some food and a leaf. We found a jar in the house. So, um, yeah, we, we, we just, we just, um, we found a caterpillar over that floor and then we tried to keep it in this jar with, with the lid, but, but, and, and, and he's eating the orange. Yeah. Mm. Okay, guys. And then we are going to read you a story for you guys. It's all about this caterpillar, the very hungry caterpillar by Eric Carl. This is the caterpillar that's right now, but it's in the same color. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through an apple but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate from two pears, but he was still hungry. Come on. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate for five oranges, but he was still hungry. Look what, on Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of sweet cheese, one salami, one lollipop, one slice of, uh, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night he had a stomach cake. The next day was Sunday again, and the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. After that, he felt much better. He now he wasn't hungry anymore. He wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon and around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks, guys. Two weeks. And he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... Ta-da! He was a beautiful butterfly! The end. end. Bye guys. Wow.